Hello design user and today video we will install Windows 10 onto the external drive in MacBook Pro for free. Then we will turn that external drive into the C drive. Easy step by step. Are you ready? Let's do it! Before we start installing Windows 10 on your external drive, there are a few things we need to make sure of. Firstly, grab a wired mouse. Secondly, we'll need a solid state drive SSD with some serious speed with talking read speed of up to 1050 and write speed of up to 1000. It's best to go for a faster drive than we'll be using it as the C drive. And the faster it is, the better the performance will be. If you need more info on which SSD to choose, just click on the links below. Once you got these things sorted, we're good to go! Step 1. We will downloading 3 free softwares. Here I have 3 softwares open. One is Windows 10, this image. And another is VMware Fusion. And finally, I have Win to USB software. First, I'm going to begin downloading Windows 10 disk image by selecting the region. In this case, I'm going to select Windows 10 Multi Edition, then click on Confirm. Now, we want to select the product language. So, I will select English United States, then I will click on Confirm once again. And finally, we want to select 64 bits download. Next, we will download VMware Fusion by selecting this page here. Then we want to select Try for free. Next, I will scroll down to Fusion Pro for Mac OS 12 Plus and click on this Download Now button to download. It is downloading. If I look over here to the right, click on this arrow. After that, I'm going to switch my page to win to usb and click on this download button here to download so i will have these three software links listed in the video description below next okay so if you go to this top right corner here and click on this arrow we will see three of these files are downloading next after the file of finished downloading, I'm going to click on this X here to close the windows. Step number two, I'm going to download Windows support software. We're going to use Bootcamp Assistant. To do that, I will go to Finder and Application, Utility, and now I'm going to double click on the Bootcamp Assistant to open. Next, I will go to Action and then select Download Windows Support Software and I'm going to save this into the same folder as the three software we downloaded earlier which is the download folder and click on save. After finish, I'm going to click on quit. Step 3, we will formatting the solid state drive SSD by connecting the SSD onto the laptop, then after connecting the SSD. Okay, so right now, I'm in utility window. In this case, I will double click on this utility to open. Next, I will go to this menu here and select show all devices. After that, be sure to select your drive that has the manufacturer name on it, okay? Then I will go to Arrest over here. Next, I will name the drive Rose SSD and Format. We want to be in MS-DOS FAT and Scheme is Guy Petition Map. After that, select Erase. And finally, click on Done. Now I'm going to click on this X here and finally click on this X here to close. Step 4, we will installing and running VMware Fusion. To install VMware Fusion, I will go to Finder, then Download Folder. Next, I'm going to double click on this VMware Fusion to open. Okay, let me move this window a little. Next, I'm going to double click on this VMware Fusion logo to install. 
Then I will click on open. Next, I will type in my password and click on OK. After that, I will click on agree to continue. Next, we want to select this box here. I want to try VMware Fusion for 30 days. Then click on continue and click on done. And I'm going to click on OK to allow and click on OK once again to confirm. Next, we want to select open system setting to allow. And I'm going to click and drag this button to allow. Next, scan my finger and click on X here to close this window. Next, I also want to close this window here by clicking on X here. After that, I'm going to click on this Win 10 here and then drag it onto this install from this or image. Next, I'm going to click on continue. Now I'm going to select the window version. In this case, I will select Windows 10 Pro for now. After that, I'm going to click on continue and then continue without key. And I will select more isolated, then click on continue. After that, I'm going to click on customize setting, leave everything as is and click on save. Now I'm going to select the processor and memory. The processor, I'm going to select four core and the memory, I'm going to select roughly seven gigabytes memory. After that, I'm going to click on X here to close the window. Now I'm going to click on this play button here and then click on OK. As you can see, the window 10 is now installing onto the virtual machine. Next, it's important to select yes to allow the network. And then we want to click on OK here. Now I'm going to click on sign in. All right, after that, I'm going to click on window support, drag and drop onto the window. And as you can see, now it is copying all the file onto the desktop. Next, I will also want to bring this wind to USB as well by clicking and dragging it until you see the plus sign appearing and then release. Now both are in the desktop. After that, we want to click one on this desktop and then go to the virtual machine menu and come down here to USB and Bluetooth, then find your drive. I'm going to select my drive, Rose SSD and click on it to connect. Next, we will go back to the virtual machine menu and then come down here to CD, DVD, SATA and choose this or this image. And then select your Win 10 ISO file and next click on open. After that, we will go back to the virtual machine menu and come down here to CD, DVD, SATA and then choose connect CD, DVD. Now we will double click on this Win to USB to install. After that, we want to select Yes to allow, and by default it is in English, then click on OK. After that, I'm going to choose I accept, then click Next, then leave everything as is, and click on Next again, then click on Next again, finally click Next once again. Now I'm going to click on Install. After that, I'm going to Click on finish. I'm going to click on start without your data and then click on continue without this data. And finally, click on confirm and start browsing. Next, click on this X, this X, this X, and finally on this X here to close these pages. Now I'm going to click on this Win to USB shortcut here to open. Then I will click on yes. 
Next, click on OK. And once again, click on this X here to close this page. Then choose this Windows to go USB. Next, click here to select installation source and choose CD, DVD, ROM. After that, click here to select destination drive. Next, partition scheme, I will select GPT for UV. And installation mode, select legacy and click on proceed. After that, select device needed to be format. Are you sure you want to continue? Click on yes. And now it's downloading Windows 10 Home onto your external drive. Next, I will click on finish. Then click on X here to close the window. Next, click on Window Explorer. Then go to Win to USB Drive and click on it to open. Next, I'm going to click and drag Windows Support folder onto the drive. After that, make sure you are on this virtual machine window and go to the virtual machine menu and then select Shutdown. Then click on Shutdowns again to confirm. Step by, we will setting up the external drive as the C drive. To do that, we want to use this command all plus restart to start up from the built-in macOS recovery system. First, I'm going to close this window and then go to this Apple icon and restart. Be sure to press and hold command plus letter all, then click on restart. After that, I will click on this restart here to confirm. Now I'm going to release the command or key and click on my username, then click on next. Now I'm going to type in my password and then click on continue. Next, I will go to this menu and select utilities and start up Secure Utility. Next, click on Enter macOS Password and type in my password. And then click on OK. Now we have Secure Boot and Allow Boot Media. And we want to select No Security and Allow Booting from External or Removable Media. Next, I'm going to close this window and then go to the Apple icon, select Start Up This, then click on Win to USB Windows and click on Restart. Next, click on Restart again to confirm. Now we are going to set up Windows 10 onto the external drive. In this case, I'm going to select United States and click on Yes. And the keyboard in US. That is perfect. And then click on yes. And the keyboard layout, I'm going to select skip to continue. Next, I'm going to select I don't have the internet. Now I'm going to select continue with limited setup. After that, I'm going to select accept. Now I'm going to come down here and click on this icon to access the screen keyboard. Right here, click on on-screen keyboard. Next, I'm going to click one in here and then type in my name. After that, I'm going to close the keyboard and then come down here and click on next. And then click next again without password. After that, I'm going to turn all these off. And I will click on accept. And let Katana help you get things done. And click on not now. After that, we want to set up the bootcamp in the external drive. I'm going to click on file explorer. And then click on this PC. 
And here, as you can see, external drive turned into the C drive. I'm going to double click on it to open. Next, I'm going to double click on Windows Support to open, then open Bootcamp folder. Next, I'm going to double click on Setup to run Bootcamp. Then click on Yes. Then I'm going to click on Next. After that, I want to check this. I accept the term in the license agreement box and click on install. Next, I will check on this restart system recommended box and then click on finish. Now I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi by going to this icon here and select my Wi-Fi. Then click on connect and type in my password and then click on next. After that, I'm going to the start menu and then click on Apple software update to run the software update. Next, I'm going to select install two items here. And then I'm going to click on yes to allow. Then I'm going to click on yes again to restart computer to finish the update. Now I will go to file explorer and then I want to check my C drive. As you can see, my Win2 USB-C is one terabyte short for my bootable window time. That is super cool, guys. Next, I will go to the search bar here and type in update. And click on check for updates. Then I will click on this install now button to install the updates. After that, I'm going to right click on the start menu and device manager. And we want to update all the devices that have these exclamation marks next to them, okay? Next, I'm going to right click and then select update driver and then click on browse my computer for drivers. I will click on browse and we want to select this entire Windows support folder and then click on okay. And we want to check this include subfolder box and then click on next. And I can see right here, window has successfully updated your device. That is perfect. Next, I will click on close here and repeat this step. So I'm going to scroll down and find the exclamation max next to the drivers and right click and select update drivers, click on browse my computer for drivers and by default, my Windows support is selected and be sure that includes subfolder box is checked and then I'm going to click on next to continue. Now I can see once again, Windows has successfully updated your drivers and I'm going to come down here and click on close. And next, I'm going to do the same here. Scroll down until I see the driver still has the exclamation max next to it. I'm going to right click, update drivers, and click on browse my computer for drivers. And by default, my Windows support is selected, as well as include subfolder box is checked. Okay, I want to move this window over here a little so we can see this is the driver needed to be updated. Then I'm going to click on next. So if we look at closely after I close this window, now the exclamation mark has disappeared. So we are fixed. Okay, this is the last one. I'm going to right click and select update drivers and browse my computer for drivers. And by default, my window support is selected as well as include subfolder box is checked. Now I'm going to click on next.
So once again, Windows has successfully updated your drivers. Now I'm going to click on close. Okay, there you go, guys. Let's see if we have any exclamation marks left. No, nope, it looks like we are finished. Finally, I'm going to click on this X right here to close this window. Step 6, we will switch in between Windows and Mac OS. Now we are going to switch from Windows to Mac OS. Simply come down here and click on the twirling arrow to expand. Then click on Boot Camp to select. Next, I will click on Restart in Mac OS. Then this window pops up. Are you sure you want to restart the computer? I will click on OK to confirm. So it is getting Windows ready. After that, I'm going to type in my password and click on this arrow to continue. So next, I will close this window here by clicking on this virtual machine window and then click on this X here to close. And next, I will go to this Apple icon and then go to Force Quit and then select Finder and then click on Relaunch. Then click on Relaunch again. After that, I'm going to click on this X here to close the window. Important note. Next, we want to switch back to Windows. Simply going to the Apple icon and pressing on the Option key while clicking on Restart. Pressing on the Option key until you see the Boot menu. Now release the Option key and then click one on the extra drive. After that, click on this arrow here to start the windows. Okay, next let's run a test by clicking on Internet Explorer and close the window by clicking on the X button. Then click on Complete Setup. After that, click on Accept. Now I'm going to type in encoded fashion to make sure everything works perfectly. There you have it, Design Nisos. I hope you found this video useful. Remember to like and follow me on Encoded Fashion for more awesome videos. Happy designing!